of Fox Carolina First Alert Weather with meteorologist Catherine Noel. Morning, everyone. New this morning, we did remove the first alert in place for today. That axis of heavy rain is there, but it's off towards the south and southeast of us. So if you travel towards Columbia, towards that coastline for your morning commute, you're going to run into that heavy rain. It is there. It just hasn't really scooted up close to us. Now we're seeing some isolated showers right now, but nothing like what we saw for the potential earlier and days earlier for those model runs. So this is something that we're pulling back on this morning. This is good news. We don't have to deal with that heavy rain in place for this morning and we did end up getting some rain from overnight into early on this morning a couple tenths of an inch it's just not going to be as heavy not as high of totals as once thought so good news again no first alert in place for this morning still seeing some isolated showers very light spotty sprinkles in areas possible Lawrence south this is where we're seeing it it's closer to where that heavy rain is so greenwood to Lawrence, newberry county a closer look here some light rain in waterloo towards cross hill silver street into chapels 96 and kirksey very light very spotty and that's going to be the case today. Here's that center of where we're seeing at least heavy rain to come on through. We get this weak cold front today and with it an isolated shower chance again as mentioned. So we do have the chance of seeing something to move on through from this rain off towards the south and southeast to push on up northward. You can see by the afternoon towards early evening, mainly 11 to 3 looks to be that best shot and then even a chance off towards Franklin. Honestly, very light to where we're really not getting much in terms of totals from this. So we're going to see maybe a tenth of an inch if that better odds and areas towards the south and southeast where closer to where that heavy rain is even potentially off towards Spartanburg. That's where we wanted to see it. That model run wanted to show it at least sure there's going to be the possibility, but if anything, those totals are going to be very light and limited across the area. It's really going to be a warmer day mainly for this time of year, especially. I mean, again, highs in those low to mid 70s across the area from Lawrence upwards towards Greenville. Expect a lot of cloud cover today, scattered cloud cover and then getting a break from that into Friday, Saturday, a bit more sunshine staying dry and cooler into the weekend too. You can see those highs going from the mid to upper 70s the next day into Saturday a little bit cooler and then cooler on Sunday compared to where we're going to be on Saturday. We get the potential for this wedge set up. So this is what we're seeing in chances terms of that weekend weather really on Sunday. So Saturday looks dry again, even Friday, but on Sunday we could get a wedge set up. So expect potentially some cloudier conditions, maybe some mistier conditions across the area too. And we could see even some light isolated showers from time to time. It's not looking like widespread heavy rain necessarily at all, but we could see some showers and that could be a little bit of a downer for those that are going to be outside. Sure. With a cooler day in general too, highs in those mid sixties, then starting to eventually get back to some some warmer conditions as we go through into next week with highs returning to those low to mid 70s for us. Definitely above average looking next week and a bit drier, at least as of right now. This could change as we get some fronts to move on through, but we're seeing a better outlook for some drier, sunnier conditions by Tuesday potentially for us. Again, highs in those low 70s for the mountains. All right, another look at the roads here this morning. We've seen